Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are doing a bob head caricature. Now this is going to be more like a walkthrough. It's a process for those who want to do things really fast. You don't have that time to spare. You just want to be able to knock things out, especially when you're trying to create a still image and you want to be able to have all of the flexibilities that you can get. This bob head caricature is inspired by the Ashoke traditional Yoruba clothing and what we're going to do is just simply do a simple walkthrough with a couple of tools. So first tool to start off with is the character creator. Now the reason why we're starting off with character creator is because it's easy for us to get a very quick template and this is going to save you time. Time for customizing stuff. So we're going to start off with the baby character and the beautiful thing with the baby character is you still have the exact proportions of stuff that you want to do. And since we're going for a bob head, you can make those tweaks, make those changes and we can knock things out easily. Now you can also choose to to play with you know proportions directly here in character creator with all of their morphing and proportion tools or you can send this over to zbrush beautiful thing about sending things directly from character creator to zbrush is you can make all of the adjustments that you want and you can send these things back although there are certain rules of terms that you need to keep in mind first off you don't need to dyna mesh that mesh you don't need to z remesh that mesh you only need to build based upon it and if you need more stuff you can add more subdivisions and you can sculpt through and do all of the things that you want. Now, once you're done with that, you can make the bob head and send this back over to Character Creator, test it out, see how it works. If it's perfect for you, you keep it. If it's not, you go back, you make some changes. And we've already covered a video about how this works in ZBrush. So this one is uh, it's just quite easy. So move these things however you want. And for this one, we're just using two major brushes. We're using the Move tool and also the Smoothing tool. Now the next brush which we're going to use is just masking just to max a couple of places. And we're just going to move things in position, smooth them out and send them back to Character Creator. Now back into Character Creator, we can test out you know the movement of the face try to see if we can get those emotions there but then we are also noticing that the eyes and also the feet are no longer in place so how do we fix this how you can fix this is simply select the object which you want in our case we have the eyes and also the teeth so we're just going to select one of them go over to edit mesh select the entire vertice and then you can transpose this to wherever you want in our case we're just going to fix the eyes and then do a little bit of testing just to make sure that we have that there and we're also doing the same thing for the teeth now once we're done with this now we're going to jump back into zbrush and here is where we would start making the shirt now making the shirt is very easy as what we need to do for this is just mask and extract now i would use a couple of tools a little bit more here and in this case we're also going to stick with our major brushes which is just simply the move and the smooth and probably the mask and we're not doing anything too fancy now we have the booba fine and that's the shirt and we can now also convert the same booba by adding or appending a couple of geometries and using the dyna mesh to merge these things together and create the overall tunic now once we're done making the overall tunic because we're just going for something quite simple and friendly we're just going to twist this and play with it shift certain parts where we need them and you know just do basic simple sculpting now the sculpting just comprises of using the move tool at certain times we did touch up some clay build up brushes and the smooth tool so three brushes in total if you minus the selecting of parts overall time for this was about an hour i actually don't think it was up to an hour because it was quite easy to just knock these things up so with the base mesh and everything done we now decided to move this and one more thing which we forgot of course this one wasn't really relevant to the entire scene because we just needed you know a portrait shot so for the shoe what we did was make a mask of the feet and extracted the mask and the mask was uh the extracted mesh was the basis of the shoe clean it up use the sculptress pro to add some definition by using the pinch tool and because we we're just going for something that is just very fanciful and low poly we decided to keep it very simple something else which is also missed out in the initial design was the bead so traditionally or in terms of fashion bead is actually one of those things that is being used to distinguish a highly respected person in the society or you know most people in current times use these as a form of stylish dressing and as an accessory so for this one we just went ahead and used one of the curve tools and decided to create the bead 
and when it had to do with positioning this we also move over to the cover editor and we started making changes by simply using the elastic deformers so this one was pretty easy to just knock out and at the end of the day we moved all of these things back into character creator and transferred weights to them and this is one beautiful thing with character creator you can make anything anywhere and transfer weights to this something else which we decided to do is we also wanted to get a darker skin tone so for the dark skin tone we went over to generated photos we downloaded a generated photo which is an ai photo and for those who don't know about this there's a video that's going to be in the description that will show you guys how this works brought it directly into character creator use the headshot cc plugin to generate a darker skin now this dark skin was now exported re-imported and transferred so we exported the textures and re-imported the textures and assigned them to this model now with this done the next thing which we decided to do was to go in there and start making some tweaks tweaks in terms of the texture so we decided to also play alongside with the skin gen that also comes with character creator which is an add-on actually so we played with it added some extra stuff at the same time there is something else i would like you guys to you know take out of this when you're working with the character creator and zbrush once you go into skin gen mode and you start making some changes for the most part you may need to re-import your models back into character creator so once you're working with this pipeline try to make sure that both apps are open until you're done with the entire process of what you would like to accomplish with both of them now the original idea was just to make a white and white looking character but all of a sudden you know we just felt like okay what if we add some textures we looked up the internet found a couple of you know uh, references and because this is just a playful caricature model we decided to go back into zbrush and use the unwrap tool which is the uv unwrap to unwrap all of them the tunic the trouser the cap unwrapped all of these and decided to just do a simple poly painting now after unwrapping and doing the poly painting we generated textures using the poly paint and then saved and retransferred everything back into character creator now once this was done the next thing which we decided to do was just to test out and see what the rendering would look like but before we started doing the rendering we figured out that we needed to also give this character some sort of pose now the pose had to do with hand gestures which was a peace sign and one of the hands holding the tunic now it's beautiful to also note that character creator comes with a couple of hand gestures and these hand gestures came in very very handy at the time so after posing these we test out with the iray renderer and everything looked nice but up until this time i wasn't so comfortable with it you know with the result so i just kind of felt like if we had gone over to blender if we could get something pretty better so this time we decided to move everything over to blender so moving this to blender now with the pose there if you would like to move this to blender make sure you select export with the current pose so export this as a current pose else it's going to come into blender as a t-shaped model now in blender we found out that certain things were working certain things were not working things like the eyelashes we couldn't really see it especially when we switched over to uh cycles so these are the ones we're going to save them for post-production other things that we decided to do was to play with the skin tone just wanted to know if we can get the same subsurface scattering kind of feeling that we had in character creator iray so since we've already gotten what we're looking for next thing was just to play with the background add some background lights you know just to give a little feel to the character and there was actually something that i was really looking forward to so we're going to save that for photoshop as well so once we had everything done we had to hit the render button by simply using cycles and using the very default sampling size and i also noticed that we had a couple of noise in the first one so we increased the sampling size by two as well and then we decided to render after rendering we took this over to photoshop and that was where the extra bit of magic happened went online got some very free eyelashes got some very you know free eyebrow and some beard just to add some sort of coolness to this model because we just wanted to have it looking cool and then we played with all of this to get the good result that we had now something else which we did was take a look at some of the parts and because you know we did like a very haphazard sort of texturing earlier since we were just doing this thing for fun we decided to go in there and just do all of that beautiful texturing and just make sure that we had exactly the cool thing that we want now we missed out on something that is very very important and that is doing some sort of backlighting so we couldn't really remember doing that backlighting when we were working directly 
in Blender. So what we did was we had to just simply use some brushes and fiddle around in Photoshop. And this is the final result. This was quite interesting to create as it was more of an exercise project. I just wanted to go through certain things that a lot of you guys have as tools that you can use to create amazing piece. Now, for those who are getting started with creating caricature, there are tons and tons of stuff that you need to learn about these things in terms of proportions and how you can play with this stuff. And for those who already own tools like this, there are amazing things that you can do with it. Now, for those who would like to get any of these tools that I've talked about, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can find it. You can get the 30 days trial for both the character creator, Photoshop, and also for ZBrush. And you can play with these tools and do whatever you want. And for those who are looking for alternatives to tools like this, you can also take a look at the link in the description for more stuff. And also, there is a link in the description to our discord so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace